I love following people. It, it, I'll tell you guys personally, it took me 30 years to be in this position, 30 years to be able to be continue working. El inicio de todo. Eh, bueno, KP, gracias por la oportunidad. La verdad es un honor, es un gusto. Este, Colombia, te saludamos. Y bueno, yo quisiera empezar con una producción que has hecho parte en el 2000, que es sobre Sun Jay. Sun Jay es una historia en la cual, como todos los involucrados, tratan de comprenderse a sí mismos. Me gustaría preguntarle sobre en dónde se puede ver actualmente, porque debido, no sé, quizás a las plataformas, puede ser que en festivales esté o esté en algún archivo monográfico. ¿Y cómo fue la experiencia? Ok, we do always, we always do the, this in the channel, going early, early in the career of the guests, and we are going to in the 2000s, man. And I'm glad that John asked about Sonja Sen in the yeah. mouth of the dragon. Yes. I, I know it's a very, very long time. And the question is, where we can see it? I know it's a very old production. Tell us about the experience in this. I, we know that it's an historical figure. But tell us about your participation in this project earlier in your career. Um, Dr. Sun Yat Sen was when I was in college many, many years ago. Um, e the Edward Emmanuel was the writer and director. And if you know Edward Emmanuel, he also was the screenwriter of the three ninja kids. He was, yeah, he was the writer, the screenwriter of the three ninja kids, the original one. And he sold it, and and so that's so he was my director and uh, a good friend, a mentor, and I got involved. I think my last year of college, and I was uh, played Dr. Sun Yat Sen. And if you know Dr. Sun Yat Sen, he was the first president of China. You know, he was the first president of China. Became the first president that brought the idea of democracy, and so I play the role, the character. Wow, yeah. that's. That's a great trivia. Knowing yeah. that is the one that write three. You made me go back in the nineties with the three yeah. ninja. And yeah, yeah, yes, yes. yes, and and going back because you started doing a really important figure in history. Okay, man, John, si traducir esto es que el el escritor de esta el director de esta película Edward yeah. Emanuel es el mismo que escribió esta película Los tres pequeños ninjas. Ah, la noventera. Wow, Tú sabes, man. la de la televisión. En yes, Latinoamérica, in, in Latinoamérica, we call it Tres Pequeños Ninjas. Really old ninjas, Tres Pequeños Ninjas. Y oh, okay. claro que sí, él estaba en el, la universidad y es genial porque él interpreta acá al que viene a ser el primer presidente democrático de China, Son Yat-sen, es una figura histórica. Mm -hmm. No sabemos dónde está la película, pero es un dato importantísimo. Pues dale. Trivia Informe. Bueno, Andrés, continúa. Okay. Yes, now it's my turn, man. Uh, sure. because... can, can, can I finish about the question you asked about where can you see it? It was actually, um, we went to Taiwan. And so the television that was shot, a studio was shot in Taiwan, the play. And so um, that is, it aired in, in, in Taiwan. So I haven't seen it yet here in the States. So it's been a while. Okay. John, es que es complejo verla porque se hizo en Taiwan. Y de hecho, él ni siquiera la ha podido ver en los Estados Unidos. O sea, él la vio cuando la hizo, imagínate, hace ya 20, 22 años en Taiwán. Y ahora es mi turno. Ok, I got curious about two projects that are also eh, not that early, but like 10 years ago. Sure. Because I see that you appear in one video game that is a Sleeping Dogs, it's a great franchise, but also... You appear in a movie called Biohazard, Zombie Apocalypse. We know that uh, Biohazard is the name uh, of Resident Evil in, but in Japan. So mm -hmm. I'm curious about these two productions, man. So Sleeping Dog was a uh, voiceover. It was a video game. Sleeping Dog was a video game. And I did multiple voiceover. I did like voices for the, a lot of the, the gangster, a lot of the... Uh, some of the characters in the uh, video game. So that's part of what I was involved in Sleeping Dog. And Biohazard, I basically, I play a small role, but I help part of the production. That's what it was. So that's, that is the early stage of that, uh, those, those, those projects that I did. So yeah, go ahead. 
But it's great because yes, I I am, I am seeing here in your resume that you not all you are not also like an actor and a stuntman. You do a lot of things, man. Oh, I I I hope John get deeper in that aspect of your career. John, espero que tú entres con las siguientes preguntas en los otros aspectos de la carrera, porque en Biohazard hizo un pa pa papel pequeño, pero él se involucró también en varias cosas de esta película. Y obviamente tuve que preguntar por Sleeping Dots, sí, dice que las primeras cosas que hizo fue hacer voces en off para este videojuego. Tú sabes que ese videojuego pegó wow. muchísimo. Es asombroso, man. Además, eh, no solo pues, destacar tu gran amplio portafolio como actor, también como director. Ay, hombre, eh, hay, hay dos producciones en las cuales me tengo que quitar el sombrero porque, primero, Arts of Friction es una historia totalmente paranoica. O sea, que trata sobre las paradojas y todo. Y la otra es Impossible. Man, Impossible es una historia en la cual uno nace sobre el narcisismo. Comprende muy bien cómo se desarrolla. Mi pregunta a esta dos en una es, ¿qué opinas sobre el tema de las paradojas y también sobre cómo ha influido o cómo recuerda esta participación de los actores y todo? Y haber dirigido un tema tan, o sea, tan fuerte como es el narcisismo, los demonios internos. I'm happy that John is asking you about your career as a director with two productions, A Soul Friction, we know that this did with the paradoxical, and Impossible, or is Impossible the one with the paradoxical and the one who talks about narcissism? Anyway, he want to know um, how is your involvement in these two like subjects and also uh, how do you do with the actors we know that you're an actor uh, a great actor by the way you know that we are going to ask about one project that here in latin america uh, in all of the world is huge but <laughs> when we go to that part tell us how is how do you feel working directing actors man of uh, the directing uh so those two film i actually directed and produced um and in Impossible was a film festival that we went in and we got nine nomination um, was, you know, was a good, good project with together. So for me, it was as an actor, I had to be able to create. So I also directed as well, too. So I've, I've directed short films and, and it was just a way of me uh, stretching my craft. If I wasn't acting, I was directing, I was producing, I was casting, I was doing stunt coordinating. And so I had to learn those things. So my background came from the theater, you know, and on stage and that transition to film. And so that's what, what impossible and so friction where it was short film that um, somebody had asked me to do. And I got writers and I co-wrote the, 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 the script as well as directed. And also with impossible, I also edited it too. So I did everything. I, I shot, I, I, edited, I did the sound design to it, I worked with the actors, I cast it. Um, so I, I have many hats, so I have many hats on, but first love is of course, is acting. Acting is what I do um, focus on mostly, but if I'm not acting, I do other things as well too, in production. Eh, creo que te diste, pero lo se resume en algo. El primer amor es la actuación. De hecho, todo viene de un pasado teatral, por así decirlo. Eh... Pero tienes que entender que en estos cortos él no solo actuó, no, él produjo, hizo el diseño, el sonido, editó. Pero claro que sí, John, tienes razón. Para él el trabajo con los actores es importante porque su amor es la actuación. Que digamos que se dice, él se puso muchos sombreros, pero siempre el que tiene que poner es el de ser actor. No sé si sigo yo, sigues tú, pero... No, sí, no, sí. Ok, uh, this is my final question for, for myself, because I know John got more. Man, it's about two projects that are upcoming. The names of this project got me uh, like hooked because pues, I love I love music. So I know there is a band called God is an Astronaut and there is a project called God is an Astronaut. I don't know if it has something to do with that band. I don't know, but I want to ask you about that. And also about one project that you are doing with one of the friends of the channel with Donald Hazen. That is the bench if you want the Fibonacci experience. What we can know, we know that still in filming, you can tell something a little bit about it before we do the next question. Go ahead. Oh, God, it actually is the independent film. Um, I was involved in it as an actor, as an actor, as an independent film. It's in post-production. So I I can't, I don't know much information about it, uh, but it's going to come out this coming year. So that's what's happening. Um, so I play a professor, 
a college professor. And so uh, in that project, so I was hired as an actor as uh, um, and so it should be coming out uh, soon. So it's in post in, it's in post production right now. That's all I could say. The bench is is, is still in, in development. And so that's in post production. So, you know, when we as actor, we do the project and we don't control when it's going to come out, how many years are going to come out. But we finish the project and we move forward. So those are the projects that I know it's in the work. So that's already shot in development. And so I can't say more detail about it because I have to sign the NDA. And so okay. all I know is post-production. It's been edited and then hopefully I'll, I get, you, get, you guys get to see the rest of it. So, yeah. Before I let my friend continue, there is a project of the coming that you can tell us something like, oh yeah, I can tell about this, something that you are directing or or we, we can move on, don't, don't worry. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just did. I just came back this afternoon. I was up in Northern California shooting a, a film, a base. Uh, I played the lead role and it, it should be coming out pretty soon. So he, we just wrapped up and it's based on what you see a lot of the Asian hate, you know, uh, against, you know, and it was it's a story about somebody, uh, uh, a husband and wife and being attacked. And so when there's a, there's a there's a tragedy, but I I can't review the ending yet. But it's a, it's a, it's about his life, and so I play the role, and it's a, it's a great message and it's a good story, and so that's why the reason I I I was involved in it. So I just wrapped up late last night at three four three o'clock in the morning, and I just got back here, so early to home, so I can have an interview with you guys. <laughs> so that's Thank why, you. yeah, I pre. So that's what's going on, and um, I know um, in the early year i did call um i did um uh providence it's a mm -hmm. independent dark comedy with jofit gordon levitt uh, amish patel so that should be coming out the following year so that that's that is an uh, other project that i'm working with. that was shot i i was i went to north carolina to shoot that film so i know i could talk about that project so but the other rest i can you know we can move forward about the, the, we want to talk about the the, the 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 series that was in so yeah for sure Two things, uh, three things is bad. Uh, as a Latinos, thank you, because we know what is the thing about the hatred toward races. Absolutely. Two, thank you for, uh, man, in fact, I will say that to John to do wrap up this thing very early in going this, to this interview, man. We feel so blessed. And in fact, uh, like, like uh, the thing that I was saying is true, man. Uh, I know. That John will talk about Demer and man, he he, he was is huge even in Latin America. And I told to some of my friends that we're going to interview you. They they were like cool, cool, uh, because they love the whole cast. And uh, and talking about cast, what an amazing cast of Providence, man. I'm, I'm saying Tim Blaine Nelson, Simon Reds, Joseph Gordon Levy, Lily James. Oh my God, John, tienes que agradecerle porque acaba de terminar un proyecto sobre odio hacia las razas. Lo terminó ayer a las 3 de la mañana y se vino acá a la entrevista. Wow, man. Dos. Yo le pregunté sobre dos proyectos que tuviste. Dice que no puedo hablar mucho, pero nos habló de Providence. Tienes que ver ese elenco. O sea, va a estar con Joseph Gordon Lewitt, con Lily James, con Simon Reds. Dice que ese es un proyectazo que se viene. Y yo sé que tú le. Y le dije la verdad. Que sobre lo que vas a preguntar ahorita, acá en Latinoamérica, ah. es, no quieren mucho. Dile, dile, de una. Pero. Bueno, primero, dale. primero. Hablo sobre, hay dos producciones rápidas, antes de llegar a lo de Dame 10 primero, que me hable sobre el cómo fue que hizo casi tres cosas en una, en Stoneman, eh, producción, uh -huh. actuación, hasta dirección, en esta, pues, Naiku, que es algo, su, que es algo muy sombría, y también sobre si regresa nuevamente al canal con Scarlett Bambu, porque man, Scarlett Bambu va a estar muy buena, muy, muy buena. John is telling me that, yes, we're going to that, that the Dumber part, but before, man, I know you tell us, but you can tell us also because you did, you did everything in Naiku, I hope I pronounced it right, Naiku. Yes, and, I did. And John also is telling me that he hoped that you came back when Scarlet Bamboo comes out because he's so thrilled about that production. Me also, but tell us whatever you want to say about Naiku and Scarlet Bamboo, man. So Naiku is already, I wrote it with a, uh, with another person. I directed, co-directed with, with, uh, 
with Liana Manabongs, but I also acted it. So I did everything, and I also edited it too. So um, it's coming out, a couple short films. It's finished. It was a in the festival, and so um, hopefully I want to share that pretty soon with the with the public. Um, with Scarlet Bamboo, it's on hold because I was supposed to go shoot it in Laos. It's a it's a, oh, it's a Laos. suspense. Was working with a uh, we were supposed to go to Laos to shoot it with uh, half it in Laos. Uh, with some of the production company, and I was going to bring some of my production crew to go to Laos. Um, it's on hold because of the pandemic. When the pandemic hit, everything was shut down. And so, but the script is written, it's done. Now we just got to re re redirect and hopefully plan to go to Laos to shoot. So I am directing it and also producing it as well, too, with, with some of my associates. And so that is that project that is happening with Scarlet Man Boo. And I'm excited about it because it's we've got some good uh, talent from Laos that are attached and also some folks here in, in the States. So, uh, so that's, that's an exciting, that's the one that will be my first big feature film that I'm directing. So. And man, we, we hope that this will be the second feature we present from a La Ocean director. In fact, with this channel started, uh, JJ Stone was, was here talking about the elephant stone. Uh, yeah, I, know JJ. He, I know JJ. He does a lot of martial yeah. arts films. So I'm also a lot, a lot of it involved with a lot of the martial arts communities and I, I love action film. I'm an action film guy. <laughs> oh John le tuve que decir obviamente JJ, ¿no? Dice que y lo bueno de y le dije que ojalá nos dé esa, esa ese honor de que sea el seg la segunda película de Laos que se presente, porque pues obviamente, tú sabes, ¿no? Elephant Stone y Scarlett Babu que está emocionado. John Vean Ahora lo sí. que está esperando sí. toda Latinoamérica. Toda Latinoamérica está esperando sobre vea la psicología de Southern Symptom Son Fun es, es algo que la verdad sí quiero preguntarle sobre, primero, cómo, cómo usted pudo amoldar el personaje y cómo viste la maldad reflejada eh, en las injusticias que, vi, que vivieron las familias, más que tu personaje es, es algo ficticio, pero es sucedido en la vida real. Eh, es el... Eh, Creo que es el mayor caso más duro que puede haberle pasado a una familia asiática que recibía por primera vez en Estados Unidos en aquel entonces. Pero más que todo, ¿cómo pudo ver las injusticias del entorno? Eh, ¿Cómo pudo notar la maldad eh, en el antagonista, que fue el protagonista? Y hombre, que nos hable un poco Latinoamérica, ¿cómo fue la experiencia en todo el rodaje? Bueno. Okay, I will sum it up because I know John said a lot. But what can you tell us here to Latin America? Because we know that your character in, in Jammer, he, uh, maybe you, the family, the family of the character got the most harsh and evil story because this is history about racism. Um, yes, what can, how do you see? Uh, because I know all the controversies because we are dealing with real evil, but with real evil, how do you see it in the, in the production, uh, interacting with the, it's crazy, no? He, the protagonist is really the antagonist. I know, man, what can you tell to Latin America? Is the number one watch series in Latin America, man. I know that in the world, but in Latin America, it's huge. Tell us. Yes, I, I appreciate. I've been getting a lot. I, I want to say thank you guys to all my 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 Latin American uh, uh, folks been watching. I've been getting a lot of good messages for you guys. I really appreciate your support. Now let's get into the role and my character. Um, it was not easy. It was hard because it's also the first time that I actually spoke my native tongue, Laotian. La I'm from Laos. I was born in Laos, and so I know the story really well because. I was in college when he was arrested. And, and I know some family members that know the actual family members. And so um, being involved in the production, um, I had to make sure, you know, I was prepared mentally because I've never met the father. All I can do as an actor was to look at my father, my uncle, every man that came from a different country as a refugee, and try to give that audience to feel what they went through, the pain, the hurt, especially when their son, his son was molested and then get killed, got killed. And so how, how do you deal with that as a father, right? As human being. 
And so that that I had to prepare myself mentally, you know, and and to be honest as much as I can. Um, so I'll explain. I hope you can translate that. I don't want to go too far, you know, ahead because I can get very very deep about this. <laughs> no, in fact, you can go deeper, and we 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 still got time. But I will translate because it should be, John. Es que cuando ocurrió eso, pues esto, o sea, cuando ocurrió todos los crímenes de Dahmer. Eh, pues Katie estaba en, 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 todavía en el colegio, en la universidad y él dice que obviamente ese caso fue enorme en el país y que él incluso conoció a gente que conoció a la familia real, nunca conoció obviamente al, al padre, pero él sabía de gente muy cercana y él dice que lo principal era rendir respeto entendiendo ahora de que pues ya no lo veía con la posición como es de pues, cuando supo el caso, que era muy joven, sino ahora como un padre Dice que siempre mantuvo ese respeto, pero pues aquí lo que me dejó, dice que me, me da tiempo para traducir. Yo le dije que obviamente esperamos que hable más sobre eso, esto porque me dejó choqueado, ¿no? O sea, y sí. conoció a gente cercana. ¿Quieres preguntar algo más? O oh, dejemos que él diga más porque yo estoy... Él dice que le agradece a todos los padres de Latinoamérica, ¿no? Que él dice que recibió mucho apoyo. ¿Qué, qué quieres decir? Bueno, aparte de, de que diga más, o sea, cómo fue la experiencia, más que solo o sea, el personaje que defina esta escena que la verdad a mí me causó sumamente potencia en el que con el dolor del mundo el personaje, cómo se expresa el dolor en que los policías que eran los que lo llamaban y lo amenazaban para que saliera del país y él nunca decir una mala palabra, solo aceptar, o sea, cómo, cómo a él le, le influyó tanto esa escena, o sea, o sea, yo por mí lloraría de, de la rabia y también del personaje, pero no sé. Y entendiendo también que él dijo que esta es la primera producción eh, donde él usa su lengua latal, ¿no? O sea, uh -huh. tú, tú te diste cuenta. Before you continue, this is a very beautiful question from John about the same question, by the way. Eh, because you know that scene, man, that scene of the police that always attack you, eh, eh, they, telling you that terrible news in the... In the In the in, in the series, John said, and of course, uh, dealing with cases of racism, uh, that we we will we will cry, we will cry as a person. But how do you yes? How do you manage that? I know it's the script, but how do you manage that scene? Because it's a really really strong scene, the one with the police that attack you later, telling you about that horrible crime, man. Um. You know, as an actor, especially, you know, first of all, being character for me, I was born in Laos. I came as a refugee, coming very different, dealing with racism. So I understood. So for me to play that role, I had to use a lot of people I've met in my life to channel in. As an actor, we we mentally prepare to take on that role, especially playing an emotional scene and to to give express the emotion in the moment, right? They say, we live in the moment. And when you as an audience watch, I want you to feel, empathize his pain. And so if I did that and I convey that to you, then I did my job as an actor. And especially, you know, I try to put myself if I was in that position, because I'm a father. And believe it or not, his character, the father's character, is close to my age during that time. So it was very, very similar. And so I try to, as for me as an actor, to play that emotion, to be as honest, to be real, and to take that channel into me and send it out to you guys to watch. Understand? And before I yes, and before I translate, I know that a word doesn't define Uh, the career and actor, but we know that this series will be in every award season this year. In fact, we know that Ivan Peters will. I know he will win. He, I know he won with another series, but this series will get him so many awards. But man, somehow, do you expect to be nominated in this? I know Emmy, Golden Globes. Maybe. Um, you know, from believe it or not, I think, um. I don't control that. For me as an actor, I love what I do. And if people recognize if a recognition for that, I appreciate that. But it's not just me because it's a whole cast. We have an amazing cast working with Evan Peters, 
Richard Jenkins, Neasy Nash, and other characters in it, and with the great directors, and we really, really came all in together and put our heart and soul into the project. And you can see and you can tell how amazing Evan was, how he took it in. And so for me to work with these amazing actor, uh, I it elevates you as an actor. And so you're you are an equal. You know, you're gonna and, and if we get recognized with all the accolades or awards, we appreciate. For us, we really are very humble. I'm hum I'm humble just to even have a discussion with you guys and being recognized. And so I appreciate that. Yeah, definitely for sure. Thank you. I will translate. John. Wow. Dice que le tuve que decir. Bueno. Eh, es que estoy acá emocionado. La cuestión es que él dice que él tuvo que recibir, él, él, él se siente como el personaje porque pues, obviamente es un refugiado eh, de, 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 la, de Laos, Estados Unidos, y que lo más increíble es que la edad del personaje eh, real en la serie, bueno, cuando ocurrió eso, es la misma, casi la misma de la hora. Eso es algo increíble. Él dice que pues, tuvo que tomar como esa labor de respeto hacia su comunidad y eso se nota. Y antes de continuar, pues yo le tuve que decir, ¿no? Que pues obviamente sabemos que esta serie va duro para la próxima temporada de premios. Obviamente, mm -hmm. esto, sabemos que John Peters lo van a nominar. Esto, pero que si él llega a ser nominado, él dice que es un trabajo de equipo, de un elenco sí. increíble, tú sabes, oh, Richard sí. Jenkins y John Peters. Esto, pero que él dice que para él, y es, me parece muy bello lo que nos dice y por eso le agradecí y agradecele, que para él, él como que es como que lo... lo en, en español sería como que lo llena así de humildad, del reconocimiento de la gente y que para él que lo entremos, estemos entrevistando mucho. Eso es. Me imagino. ¿Cómo definen una palabra esta serie o tu personaje? A culminar. As a final man, before you do the, okay, your social media and the picture, how do you define this series in one word? Wow, <laughs> you caught me there. Uh... I would say intense. The series was intense. Everything was intense. Acting was intense. The story was intense. Cinematography was intense. Everything was very intense. Alert. And when the audience watched it, you felt very intense. <laughs> yeah, intense. Yeah. Yeah. So Ryan, Mor Ryan Murphy is a genius, man. I, I'm his fan, even in the years of, of Nick Todman. John, intenso. Yo solo le digo a KP que, aunque no lo crea, su carrera siempre haya sido brillante, pero créame que usted sí, en cualquier momento va a ganar un Emmy o un Wonder Bros. Se nos no sé sabe. Men, de 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 Tindal es el John Stanley Club. Yes, yes. That you got an amazing career, but we know that oh, you know what is coming, man. I will add something. Not only that if you win or you don't win an award, it's okay. But if you win an, an award, man, remember us because we say it. And and we know that you will win a great award. I don't know with this project or with another project, man. But for us, it's a big thank you. The camera is yours. So tell your social media so people can follow you. Send a big hi to, to your friends in Latin America, in, in Colombia, uh, wherever you want, man. Go ahead. I want to say, Kop Chai Mosakun Pinon Talai means thank you so much in Pasalao, my language. Um, we can, in my social media, you can go to uh, my Facebook, it's K Panyasai, K P H A G N A S A Y. It's also on my Instagram. And I also have a website as well, www.kphagnasay. I want to say thank you so much to all to my Latin American uh, audiences. You guys are amazing. I've been getting a lot of messages through uh, the, the social media. And you guys have just, you know, I appreciate. You can understand being an immigrant, being a foreigner, being something different when you go to other country. You know, we have this dream of what we want to do. So um, I appreciate it. So I'm going to give you some words of encouragement to the audience. They say, you know, uh, can pursue your dream. Don't give it up. Believe in who you are. Always laugh, smile, and serve others with unconditional love. And I think when you put your mind into what you want to do, anything is possible. So I, with that, I want to leave you guys. 
And I want to thank you, all my fans out in the world, and especially, especially with the Latin American country. And I'm going to learn Spanish. I promise you, I'm going to learn Spanish. <laughs> Gracias. Hi, guys. You are watching John's show. Make sure you tune in every week. Great. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you, guys. Thank you oh, so much. For no. There's so much to talk about. I can talk so much and like Vala stuff. And I forgot to tell you guys, I mean, another Netflix series coming next year. I'll tell you guys. It's with Michelle Yeoh. You know, Michelle Yeoh. Yeah. It's called The Brother's Stone. I mean, that series next year. Man, and it's crazy because uh, talking about awards, we know that Michelle Yeoh will, will get an Oscar nomination, you know, for that. Yes. Amazing oh, absolutely. She's oh, she's get... one of my. She's one of my favorite. I have to say to John, John, es que se viene una nueva serie de Netflix con Michelle Yeoh. Wow, man. Congratulations. Lo dijo capa al canal. Lo dijo capa al canal. Tienes que subir eso cuanto antes. Thank you, man, for telling us that. And congratulations. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. I, 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 I like digesting it because she's one of my favorite actresses. Did you know what? I have a scene with her. I really love working with her. And it's good energy. So, yeah, it's been, it's been fun. It's been very fun. I'm getting a lot of project coming up. So, let's, I'm, I'm, just let me know. I'll share with you guys whatever it is. I, I, I like I like sharing information, especially I love following people. It, it, I'll tell you guys personally, it took me 30 years to be in this position. 30 years to be able to be continue working. So, yeah. es que le tomó 30 años para llegar a donde está acá. Para felicitarlo. Otra vez. Eh, Oh, bravo, bravo, oh, 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 oh. And then I know this this interview is about you, but yes, I'm finger crosses for for Evan Peters, from the cast of of Dahmer, from you, and for Michelle Yeoh on the Oscars. I know awards doesn't define anything, but if she won the Oscar, it will be an amazing team for the Asian community, man. Absolutely, and you deserve it. You deserve it because I know that she like you had to do a lot of things in many, many years for, for being recognized. Yeah. No, man. Thank you. Oh, man. Gracias. Bienvenido siempre al canal. Uh, yes, you. you are welcome always here. And gracias, like we say here. Gracias. Perfect, guys. Adios. Perfect. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank Adios. you. Happy chao,